everyone, it's Veronica. Happy Saturday to you all. Um, I'm kind of feeling a little under the weather today, so uh, I think I'm just gonna end up resting for the rest of the night, but I did um, go out for lunch with one of my friends today and we were in Rice Village, which if you live in my area, you know where that is. Um, and I did stop and do a little teeny bit of shopping um, while there, so um, I'm just gonna show you a couple things I got. And actually the first thing is this sweater. And I decided to put it on for this video just so you all could see how it fit. And this is from Gap. It was originally, um, I wanna say it was originally $49.50, so $50. And um, it was on sale for $31.99, plus I got an additional 50% off. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, not 50%. I got an additional 25% off because um, they were having a promotion. So it's just like a long sweater. It's nice and loose. I got this in a medium because I wanted it to fit a little looser and so I could wear it off the shoulder. It's got short sleeves. And then on the back, it's kind of got like a little, um, a little like ribbon that ties it all together. So I really like this. I like how like the green is blended. It's blended with like a light gray and black yarn. So I really like the texture of it. The thing I like about this piece is that, um, you know, if you wear it not off the shoulder, you know, and you want to wear it to work, I think it would look awesome with a pencil skirt or a fuller skirt, um, either just left loose or tucked in. Um, and then I also like it because it looks just great with skinny jeans and like a necklace like this for the weekend. And this is a good transitional piece because it's a, it's obviously a sweater, but it has short sleeves. So here in Houston, um, it's not cold yet at all. <laughs> So it's kind of one of those pieces where like once it gets a little cooler, but it's still not super cold, it will transition well. And of course I love the color. And speaking of green, by the way, sorry if I sound weird in this video, because like I mentioned, I'm not feeling great. Um, I picked up these earrings from J. Crew, and if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you've already seen them. Um, that's what they look like. I'll try to hold, oh, they're like. Um, so these earrings, um, there's kind of a story behind them. So when these first came out, I had pinned them to my Pinterest page because I absolutely just thought they were stunning. And um, they, I had I had them pinned and I was planning to buy them. They were originally 75. So I was like, oh, I hope they go on sale. And then they kind of didn't. And then they sold out. So um, once they sold out, I realized what a mistake I had made by not ordering them because I love them so much. And I called um, my J. Crew stylist here um, at my local store, and she was able to track them down for me in the Hamptons of all places. So they actually ended up being on sale and an additional 30% off. So I think I got them for like $59.99 plus 30% um, off, which is a great deal. So they're just really beautiful. I love the color. They're that gorgeous mint. They have the little... Um, they have the little like light green crystals. So I just think these are gonna be beautiful, um, you know, for more formal occasions or, you know, I think you could even wear these to work if you're just wearing something simple and you wanna kinda of jazz it up a bit. They're, they're, they're just beautiful. So I love those and I love that I got them on sale. Um, and then the other thing um, I picked up was from onekingslane.com and it's this chunk of coral. Do I need another chunk of coral? Probably not, but I got this one specifically because it, it's got the nice like flat base on the bottom and you can just place it on top of a stack of, of magazines or books or like um, on a tray and it just looks really cute and it was only $12 so I think they still have these actually so definitely check out One King's Lane if you're looking for those and then I also ordered this week um, Tone It Up's Perfect Fit, Fit Protein and the reason I ordered this was because um, I feel like I need more protein in my diet and you can use this in baking as well and um, they also had a 15% off sale over Labor Day. So this bag with shipping, I wanna say the total with the discount came to like $50. And there's, how many servings is this? I mean, there's so many servings in this bag. It's, it's huge. As you can see, it's like really huge. So this this Perfect Fit Protein is, is an organic brown rice based and it doesn't have like any gluten, what does it say? Um, gluten-free, raw, vegan, non-GMO, kosher, non-fat, low in sodium and free of sugar, dairy, lactose, cholesterol, soy, corn, wheat, and allergens. So this is a really good choice for people who do have food allergies. I don't, um, but I just, I really have supported and loved the Tone It Up girls for a long time. And um, I really believe, you know, in their products and their workouts and everything. So I decided to try this because I don't currently use any kind of protein powder and this is the vanilla flavor they only have one flavor and it's vanilla so i'll let you all know how i like this um, as i begin to use it 
And then um, the last two things I got um, were also at Gap. I got them at the same time as this sweater. And one of them is this really cute bralette. And for those of you who don't know what a bralette is, it's basically like a cotton stretchy bra that you just like wear like for comfort or like, you know, to bed or, you know, you wouldn't really wear this like under normal clothes, but this is the print of it. Normally I don't show my bras, but this kind of looks like a bikini top. So I don't really think it's that weird. Um, and it's just like a nice stretchy material. I loved the navy and white striped print of this. It's very flattering on. It doesn't have any kind of, um, you know, lining or anything. Um, and it's just very stretchy. I did get this in a size large for anyone referencing size and it was $14.99 and I got the 25% off. So I thought that was a great deal. I just love like comfy, stretchy bras like this for days where like you don't want to wear, you know, a normal structured bra um, and like weekends and stuff when you're just hanging out. And then the second bra I got was from their wireless connection collection, not connection. Um, so it, it has like, it's like a nude and lace combo. Um, so that's what that looks like. And it's wireless, but it's still very supportive in my opinion. Um, and it's called the favorite wireless for those of you wondering. And it was on sale for $23.99 plus um, the 25% off. So I thought that was a really good deal because originally it's $39.50, so $40. And I got it for I think the total was like $16 with the discount. And they also have these in other colors um, if you don't want like black and nude. So that's everything I bought. So because I didn't buy that much stuff, um, I thought that in this video, I would do a few updates about products I've really been loving and using a lot of. Um, I feel like I feel like that's one of the things I'm kind of bad about, like on YouTube and on my blog, like I on my blog more so I do product reviews, but I feel like on YouTube, I'm really bad about coming back and following up on certain products. So I, I am trying to get better at that. And I appreciate your patience for all of you who are sort of curious about some of the products that have been working out for me. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is my Clarisonic Mia. I kind of went through like some ups and downs with the Clarisonic. I kind of thought like, I actually think I included this in my products I regret buying video. And I regret including it because um, when my acne was really bad a couple months ago, I, I truly think that this really helped me. And, um, you know, knock on wood, I'm knocking. Um, ever since I went off antibiotics that got rid of my acne, it has not come back. Like, in fact, right now, knock on wood again, my skin is better than it has been in a very long time. Like, very clear, very even toned, um, not experiencing breakouts. And I know like next week I'm going to have a full like chin of zits just because I'm saying this. So, um, but I am saying for the sake of this video, I truly do think that the Clarisonic has helped with this. I'm using this primarily at night, just on my whole face, concentrating sort of on my chin and cheek area, um, with my La Roche Posay Effaclair cleanser. And then sometimes in the morning I'll use this too, Ge generally concentrating on my nose and chin. Like if there's any like dry flaky spots, I'll use this in the morning as well. Um, I don't use it for like the full two minute cycle that you're supposed to do. I typically just do it until I feel like, you know, my makeup has come off and like my skin feels good. Um, so I don't really abide by like the rule of how long you're supposed to do it. And then I do use the sensitive skin brush head for anyone wondering. Um, I really like the Mia. I like the size. Um, I probably wouldn't get the full size one. I think the Mia does the job great. Um, and I just really like it. I feel like it kind of like helps get rid of all like the dead skin that's clogging your pores. It takes your makeup off really well. So um, I really, really enjoy this. And um, I regret saying I regretted it because now it's kind of saving my skin. So I have to uh, give my appreciation to the Clarisonic. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is um, one of the products that I was sent to test and I'll, I'll do a full review um, and giveaway on my blog for this product line and it's called Scientific um, by Kenneth Beer MD Eye Sculpt Cream. So initially when I showed these products um, in my video, I mentioned that they have kind of a weird smell. I'm kind of completely over that now. Initially, it took me probably like four times of using it to get over the smell. But now that I've been using it, I actually am used to the smell and it doesn't bother me at all. And I really like this eye cream. Um, it's got a very different texture than other eye creams I use. Like it's not creamy and it's not gel. It's, it's almost like a fusion of the two, if that makes sense. Um, I really like this. I feel like my eye area has been really bright and clear looking. I don't know if I, it's attributed to this eye cream, um, but my eye area, like my under eye area has just been looking really good to the point where like, you know, 
I'm one of those people that like, I usually go to the gym after work, so I'm already wearing makeup, but like now on weekends, if I go for like a Saturday morning workout, like I don't wear makeup. Um, I wear, I do wear mascara, so that's a lie. I do wear mascara to like open up my eyes a little bit, but like I'm, you know, I'm not having to like put anything under my eyes. They've just been looking really like naturally bright lately. So I'm really liking this um, eye sculpt cream by Scientific, Dr. Kenneth Beer. So that is one of the things I'm loving. Um, the next thing is the uh, Maybelline the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara. I have showed this in a video and I think I've even mentioned that I love it, but um, I have actually been using this like all the time lately. I used to use my CoverGirl Lash Blast every single day, but lately I'm using this every day. I think this is what the brush looks like. We're getting closer. I think this mascara, the way the brush is shaped and the way it's like bendy flexy, there's something about it that just looks amazing on your lashes. Like it gives you lots of volume and like it just makes them look like really, obviously you have to curl them, but it just makes them look really feathery and beautiful. So I would definitely try this out if you like sort of like feathery, thick, volumized lashes because it really is mega plush. Like the name of the mascara, it's true. It does make your lashes look super mega plush and I really, really like it. And it's drugstore, so it's like six or seven dollars. Um, I do have the waterproof formula. I cannot speak to the um, the regular formula, but the waterproof formula is awesome, and I absolutely love it. So I highly recommend this. Um, I I will repurchase CoverGirl Lash Blast, but I'll also repurchase this one. So really love that. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Derma Blend Vichy. Um, Fluid Corrective Foundation 16 Hours in the color 25 Nude. So when I first got this foundation, I was really worried that it would be too dark. It is kind of dark. When you apply it to your skin, you can clearly see that it is darker than my skin. This foundation is absolutely incredible. I cannot, I mean, this tiny, you know, this bottle was like $35, but it's going to last me a long time because I only use this as a concealer, and that is the key. Anytime I have any redness or discoloration on my skin, so mostly on my jaw where like I used to have acne or you know I have like a scar that's healing, this will cover it and then some. So the way I apply it is I take a tiny bit and I put it on um, my hand. And then I take a concealer brush and I dip it in and I apply like little tiny dots of it. And when I say dots, I mean like a thin layer, not like a dot like where you can still see the liquidiness, but like I just dab my brush and I apply on um, little spots to my chin area, wherever I feel like I need extra coverage. Then I take the foundation brush that, that I use for my concealer. So I use a foundation brush to apply my MAC Studio Finish Concealer. And I, I dip um, the brush in a lighter color concealer. I have, I have two of them, like NC15 and NC20. So I'll dip it in usually the NC15 and sometimes I'll mix both. And then I take the brush and I gently kind of press this product, the, Derm the Vichy Derma Blend, I layer the concealer over it and then I kind of press it into my skin with the foundation brush and it gives perfect flawless coverage. Like if you suffer from discoloration or acne or any kind of redness in your skin, this is the foundation for you. And because I layer the lighter concealer over it, the color turns out to be perfect and it's actually good that the foundation is a little darker because I find that it really helps conceal those darker pigmentation spots. I absolutely love this. I highly recommend it. If you were on the fence about this, definitely buy it. It is incredible. Love it. Um, and then the last product I'm going to show you today is um, a, a product called Miracle Skin Transformer SPF 20. It is it says hydrate, prime, enhance, mattify, protect. It's a five in one tinted skin enhancer with SPF 20. So basically like a BB cream. I mean, it's basically what a BB cream is in other brands. This is by Sarah McNamara Beauty, New York. So this was sent to me by um, a company that asked me if I wanted to try this out. I, I have long said I'm not a fan of liquid foundations. Um, obviously, I'm using this as a concealer, so that's an exception, but I'm not into like foundations and tinted moisturizers that are liquid, generally speaking. And it's because I'm really happy with my MAC Studio Fix. Like, I feel like I'm happy with it, so why would I switch? Like, my skin looks good with the Studio Fix, so why would I take, you know, any chances? But what intrigued me when they sent me this email um, about this product was they say, like, look great, even at the gym. And I thought to myself, you know, 
there are days, you know, like on weekends when I just want to go to the gym and like, I don't want to go completely bare face, but I'd like my skin to look a little more even. Um, and so I agreed, I agreed to have them send me um, this bottle and I'm, I'm trying it out and I'm in the color medium. Um, and it does come out a little darker, but once you put it on, it's very even. This, I'm, I'm actually surprised that I like this, to be honest with you. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not huge into liquids and all of that, but this, this truly is, it feels like a moisturizer, primer, and tinted moisturizer in one, and it does have the SPF 20, which is great. When you apply it, your skin feels very smooth. There's kind of no other way to say it. Your skin just feels very smooth and refined and even. And I think that the, the darker color of it, like it almost gives your skin the appearance of evenness. So I'm actually glad I got the medium and not the light. Um, and you have absolutely no lines of demarcation. Like with some foundations, I feel like you can see around your neck, like where it doesn't match. But because this is so light, it really gives your skin an overall um, even and kind of poreless appearance. And like I said, my skin is really, really clear right now, knock on wood. Um, so I think that's why I love it because it just enhances the skin that I already have that's clear. If I had like major acne and major breakouts, I'm not gonna lie, this would not be enough. Um, I would have to use this in combination with concealers or powders or whatever. But when my skin is really clear and looking good and I just want a little bit of an enhancement and this is like two seconds, like I literally put like a little bit, like a pea size, I, you know, I dab it on my nose, cheeks and chin and then I just rub, rub, rub and it's done. It takes like, it takes 30 seconds or less. It's super, super, super quick. So um, I really like this. I think if you generally have pretty clear skin, you know, you don't, you don't suffer with major acne or anything and you're just like a mom who maybe like just wants to get out of the house or you're just someone who's like not really into makeup and you know, you just like a more simple look but you still wanna look a little bit polished, you want your skin to look its best, this is the product for you. Um, I can't speak to other BB creams because I haven't tried them, I've only tried the Miracle Skin Transformer but I really, really like it also because there's a sunscreen in it and you wanna protect your skin, um, especially like if you're a mom and you're out and about, you're going to the park. So um, I just really like this. I, I'm, I'm shocked that I like it because I typically, um, you know, don't really like liquids like I mentioned, but um, this has been really good. And the true test is I actually wore this to work one day. So I, you know, I, I use this all over my face. I use a tiny, tiny bit of my MAC concealer, like just around like the edges of my nose and the corners of my um, lips where I have a little bit of redness. And then I, I did use one swipe of Studio Fix just on my chin area, just to get, and it, and it was like a tiny swipe, like hardly anything. And then I, I, you know, I did my other makeup just like I regularly would and went to work. And I was asking one of my coworkers, I'm like, does my skin look different today? Or like, and she's like, no, it looks the same as always. So I do have to say this gives a nice sheer coverage, not too much, not too little. And you can't tell at all that you're wearing it, which is awesome. So I really love this. Um, glad to have tried it. Uh, I think I'm doing a giveaway with that as well. Um, the last thing I want to show you is the Stila Lip Glaze. I, this is in the color Apricot number eight, and I have just been using this. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. I've just been using this all the time. I'm almost done. Um, I don't know what made me start using it. It was just kind of in my makeup drawer, and I just thought, you know, I never use this. I might as well just try it. And it's a really nice peachy, pinky color, and just gives like a glaze to your lips. It's the Your Lips But Better look. And it also has that, um, like an apricot smell. So it smells really nice. And I like that you don't have to use your finger. I like that it just goes straight from the brush to your lips. So that's everything. I'm like, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm like out of breath. I'm coughing a little. Um, so that's everything for this week. And I thank you all so much for watching. And I'm sorry, I've kind of like rambled on a little bit. This video is getting really long, but um, I hope that some of the product recommendations I made will be appealing to you and that maybe you'll want to try some of these. Um, I always try to just give my perfectly honest opinions and just feature the products I truly love. So I hope um, this video was helpful for y'all and I hope you have an awesome rest of your Saturday and I'm probably gonna go uh, lay down and get some rest because I am just needing some nap time. Um, okay, happy Saturday and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.